Anthony Slater here with Eric Horn inside the peak after what was uh, maybe the best basketball game sporting event I've ever seen. Uh, we're standing right here about, I don't know, what would you say, 35, 40 feet away? About uh, about where Steph Curry ended the game. Well, basically, I mean, but I'm talking about what, 35, 40 feet it, from the hoop? It's 35, 40 in that uh, range. Splashed it from right here. It's 12-3 of the game, which tied an NBA record. Uh, in overtime to complete a 121 118 Warrior win. I mean, where do you start with this game? I mean, I guess it's with Steph Curry. You start with Steph Curry. I mean, uh, these guys after the game sometimes, they say players make shots when they lose a lot. And yeah. look, let's give it up to Steph Curry and Klay Thompson tonight because the Thunder actually had a really good defensive performance coming off that bad performance against the Pelicans a couple nights ago. I mean, Andre Robertson was great. Uh, Serge Ibaka had a great defensive game. And Steph Curry came out and set a record. Yeah, no, I mean, he was the reason why they won. Uh, and, I, you know, I do think the Thunder played great in a lot of ways. As you mentioned, Ibaka, all the other guys. Westbrook was great. You really can't find a bad Thunder performance if you go down the list. But I think that the, the issue, 23 turnovers tonight, yeah. and the biggest issue, one turnover tonight. It was the one late in regulation. They should have won this game. Yeah. Uh, they're up four with 11 seconds left. Klay Thompson hits a layup to cut it to two. They inbound it to Kevin Durant. He's trapped. The Warriors don't foul. Billy Donovan doesn't call a timeout even though it's right in front of the Thunder bench. Durant kind of panics, heaves it at half court. This wild sequence where the ball is kind of rattling around. The Warriors get it. Iguodala gets fouled as time runs out. Hits two free throws. That's what sends it to overtime. And that's also Kevin Durant's fifth foul. Yeah. Then he fouls out early in overtime. Uh, that's why they lost. That entire bumbling sequence is basically led to the Thunder losing because if they have Kevin Durant in for the majority of overtime, yeah. he didn't play like the final four minutes of overtime. So if you got Kevin Durant on the floor who finished with 37 points, that's a big that's a big player in your favor in overtime and he didn't get to see the rest of it. It's, it's but in a in a funny sense I thought the Thunder kind of really made up for it. I mean Andre Robertson had Andre two buckets Robertson. had Andre two Robertson buckets in overtime. Abaka was you know ripping offensive rebounds. Westbrook was great. I mean, he was setting people up. They were trapping him. He was still finding ways to score. Yeah. But what it came down to is Steph Curry can hit shots from where I'm standing, and that's very far away from the basket right now. Uh, but guess what? We get another one. Thur Thunder Warriors Thursday night in Oakland. I'm very interested to see how the Thunder respond to that. It'll be a good game. You know, I mean, I had a feeling. Maybe. I, I mean, one thing you got to remember with it is a back to back, the back end of it, and they it played the back Clippers back. in LA the night before. And this game tonight had to drain. Yeah, it, it, it may have. And then you got to understand that, like, the, the Warriors resolve. I mean, they were coming off the end of a road trip to themselves, and they come out here and they play the Thunder in the overtime. I mean, yeah, and not to mention, Steph Curry looked like he went down with, like, a bad ankle sprain, maybe second quarter. Yeah. And then he hit, well, probably 10 of his 12 threes after that. Then you got people, you got ESPN saying that Draymond Green is uh, in the locker room popping off at halftime, and he comes out and has 14 dimes and 14 you rebounds. You see his line tonight? 14, 14, two, two points. Two, 14, two points. 14, 6, and 4. Yeah, the two points were irrelevant because he did everything else on the court that you needed to do. Great performance by a lot of guys. Tonight. We could probably talk for about 15 minutes. We could podcast this if we want, but we won't. We'll go to some of the post-game sound bites after this wild game in OKC. When Kevin's trapped in the corner, why no timeout? And then when he lobs it over and everything. Yeah, else. well, you know, we had one timeout to I think it was 15 seconds to go in the game. My, my feeling was there's, there was a possibility we were going to have to maybe call a timeout, especially if they fouled us and we made free throws and they called timeout and scored. So I just basically told the guys uh, we have one timeout. If we can't get it in quickly to either Kevin or Russell, you know, go ahead and take it. I probably should have helped Kevin there when it came in bounds. You know, I think maybe he was waiting for a foul. Maybe I could have jumped in there and helped him there a little bit. Um, you know, but even with all that being said, you know, the, the ball kind of got, got thrown away. I think Draymond Green saved it. And, you know, give it a the credit. He made a couple tough free throws, you know, there at the end of there. But it was one of those things where I gave those guys the option saying, hey, listen, we got one timeout. If we, need, if we can inbound it quickly, go ahead and do it. And, you know, again, you know, Kevin had the ball, they trapped him, and, and maybe I could have come down there at that point and helped him out a little bit. Billy, it seems like... Did you know that last shot was going in? I hope it did. Uh, you got a good rhythm dribbling up and found a spot to take off from him. I had confidence all night. Thankfully, that last one went in, we had an opportunity to win the game. Probably the grittiest win you guys have had all season for a team, right? Yeah, all things considered, uh, End of a road trip against a great team at home. Uh, and the way the first half kind of went, some injuries, and just found a way. Um, everybody contributed, you know what I mean? 
just if you think about all the things that had to go our way down the stretch and the things that we you know, had a hand in forcing our, forcing our way, it's just a, a great win. Um, just cards stacked against us with that deficit in the last you know, two minutes, basically. And I, could go, <clears throat> I could go down the list. You know, Clay making huge buckets when you know, they've gone cold a little bit and found a way to hit a huge three and get a, a layup. The steal he made, Draymond's effort to collect it, Andre's wherewithal to um, be under control with two seconds left and draw a foul. And then he makes two free throws. Um, you know, just a all around, uh, you can call it a gritty one. What, is, what went through your mind with the ankle? And then also, how do you feel right now? Um, anytime it's my ankles, it's, you, know, you feel that same kind of sensation that I had back in the day. So deep, and yet and he made it look so easy at such a clutch time. When he pulled up, he looked like, like uh, whatever, like, it's going in. When he pulled up, I was like, all right, I know this was going in. <laughs> but even to expect, you know, to think he's going to make it, like, what was that, 40 feet? Like, so absurd. <laughs> Your mind when he pulled up. Why are you shooting this from this deep? It's like three seconds left. <laughs> and he's just like, <laughs> I don't know. Even actually, <laughs> we saw Salters reported that she could hear you screaming during halftime about, I'm not a robot, you wanting to shoot. Um, is that more or less what happened? And is that what now, how many shots did I take in the same half? I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, me either. I know I took one jump shot, a couple layups. Four. Yeah. So, uh, what goes on in here stays in here. Um, I clearly never been a guy who cared about shots. Uh, pass up shots, open shots. <laughs> but we know what goes on between our team. We know what. <laughs> Sparks this team, we know what this team do, but what goes on this locker room is not as hard. Would it be fair to say that it's the... They didn't get a lot of paint, but they, you know, Steph Curry come down, shoot him, see him, call him half court, and still try to get a little bit better. He made 12 or 16 from his career. You know, all of them, uh, outside of them, you know, they're tough, so... Yeah, we still had a chance to win. Is it tough to get in your mind that a guy will shoot the ball as far as he? I mean, I know you know, dude, but just the fact you don't face people that will shoot that far out. That's what we do. That's what we do. Also, oh, how tough was it them to have to be able to go to overtime without you in the game? I mean, we had the game beat up five, you know, up three. We got a good shot to end, we just missed, and then he hit that, that deep three. So. You know, obviously if I was in the game, the thing, I thought it would be different, but I, found, I, 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 shouldn't, I can't touch him. Steph Curry goes in the rim like that, so they called a foul now. Is it difficult to take positives away from this and move forward? Uh, yeah, I, I always want to win. I mean, more victories for young teams. So, no, we just get better from them and uh, worry about the next game. You have to lock your defense better, though? Yeah, it was Overall. cool. They had tough shots on us all night, you know. They had tough shots on us all night. We, they felt us, so yeah, our defense was better. Y'all didn't have Andre in the first meeting. Did you see the noticeable difference he made this time around? I just think overall we all played better. All of us, you know, great to have Dre back. His defense was good, but overall we just we just stepped our level play up. But it wasn't enough enough. Got one more matchup with them in the regular season. What needs to be different for y'all to be able to pull out a win? Well, we can't. Well, we can't. Uh, you know, we gotta keep touching those threes and uh, limited the other guys. I think did a good job on the last game, Space and Barnes killed us, and tonight they did. So, you know, we, uh, they're two guys. They, they got, you know, we got half from the three. You let this one go easy. I know it's one of 82, but a highly contested game. Can you let this one go? Move on to Sacramento easy, you think? Yeah, I'm gonna go home and enjoy me a nice meal and a nice glass of wine, and I'll be straight. Good. Without Kevin, you guys still seem to, to execute. Obviously, a couple shots didn't fall late, but what did you see in the overtime period? Uh, I thought we moved the basketball, man, got some, some, some basket in the paint, did a great job with uh, running off stuff. Uh, but, you know, the defensive we had a few mistakes towards the end of the game. 23 turnovers tonight, 22 in regulation, including that one right at the end. Just how, how big were those? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say. 
you know, they were huge. But, you know, sometimes it happens like that. Um, you know, we were doing a good job of taking care of the basketball tonight. You know, we, we had a few still problems. How did they were able to convert some and ones. I know the one big one there at the end. Can you just talk about the one that Clay was able to to get uh, toward the end in your time? Um, I'm not sure. I have to look at it and see um, and see what happened. Plus, they didn't seem to get into the paint during regulation. The driving dick dish threes. Why were you guys able to keep them off? Um, a ones? good job of keeping them in front of us. Um, you know, they made some tough shots. With the entertainment value of the game and it kind of being a disappointing loss, is it difficult to move on from this one or is it just one of 82? No. You got to play uh, Monday. You just got to play them again on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, is it, when you got a guy like Steph Curry, when you know he shoots some shots that most people in the league won't shoot, is that still tough to get in your mindset that when he crosses midcourt, to crowd him because he shoots some shots at this. Uh, he made some tough shots. Anybody else for us?